So I just want to show you what I explained earlier. Now this is a variable. I want to read the output. I want to read the variable for you. Here is my grant. Look at the meter also. I'm picking this one. I think you can see what you see here. Six, six waiting, six volts. Let's say six volts. You are seeing 6.8 volts. High side. Then the low side. The low side is zero volts. Zero volts. It's not up to even milli. It's a milli. It's milli volts. So take note, milli volts. So we classify it as zero volts. Because even though you touch the two probe together, you will still show you something, something milli volts. So let's call the other side zero volts. Now let's trace it to the IC. Now I think you see here. Here is at five volts. This is where we used to vary. To either to this side to this side. Let me vary it down and let's see what will happen. Mark you is the second. Let me pick this one. Let me avoid that one while. Okay, I'll vary it down now. Let's read the voltage and let's see. Okay. Be careful so that you don't bridge your board though. This is the zero volts. The other side is 6.8 volts. So I'll vary this one to zero volts. It's still reading in millivolts, so there's no better output there. Then you see it now. So I'm picking this first one. It leads to this place. So as you can see, there is an output. Watch where I am. I'm at somewhere. Let me show you where I am now. Okay, this is the starting point. Somewhere here. So this is the output. This is where from this uh, variable resistor, this is where the variable resistor go to negative. So for me to have an output here, meaning here has to be lower than this one. And let's see the voltage here at pin 3. So we see the voltage here at pin 3. The voltage we are varying with the variable is at pin 2 to give us an output. So let me check the voltage at pin 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Voltage at pin 3 is 3.7 volts. Pin 3 is 3.7 volts. 3.7 volts. So, for us to get an output, meaning this pin 2 is lower, if we don't want an output, meaning we increase pin 2 to be higher than this one. And watch. As I'm increasing it, when it is higher than that one, you will hear the triggering sound. I think you see. So it's not higher. So let me go and read it again. Now it's 5.6. 5.6. It's higher than this one that is 3. I think you can see. Yeah, it's higher than this 3.3. It's 5 volts. If you are scared so that you won't bridge it here, look for a more soft place to test it. Then you see now the output is gone. There's no output. But if I vary it back now, then you see output there. I think you see the output, you now have the 5.36 volts. So, and this one, let's trace this line, it links to here. From here, there's a resistor here. 
that connects it to the base. This is the emitter that always connects to the ground. This is the collector, the resistor here, and this is it. So meaning, this one you are seeing is connected to this relay. So it's just continuous practice and keep on reading your board, understanding what you are doing, then you'll be able to do a good work. Be careful with your probe. You notice that I mistakenly breached the board and the diode got blown out. So be careful so that you don't destroy your board with your probe. Try to use a tiny probe so that you'll be able to do a neat touch and so that don't allow your hand to be shaking you know, because if you shake some bridge in any two things, it might be risky. So the next video, I'm going to talk about the relay connections. I've not bothered doing that before because I always just fix the board and immediately I fix the component that is faulty, change the relay that is bad, everything goes back to normal. But since somebody asks for it, I want to do it. So see you in the next video.